Hi everyone, today I want to share with you something that is related more to craft and watercolour but uh, it's something that I have been interested myself in and I thought that maybe some of you would find it quite useful so I decided to keep it nice and packaged and open it um, for, for this video. So basically I needed a hole punch and I bought one before but it's quite flimsy and it punches out kind of um, not in a very good way so I'll, I'll show you um, the comparison. Okay, so this is the one that I got on UK Amazon and I think I ordered this one on the US, I'm not sure, but um, basically this one was just literally a few pounds and it looked nice and small and I thought, you know, I don't need anything more serious than that. So let me just get a tag out and basically just to do a comparison right here. Um, so I'll do a couple. So here is what I get, right? And hopefully you can see how it sort of dents uh, the paper around it. And it doesn't make a very clear cut. So the cut is, there you go, you can see it quite well now, I think, yeah. The um, so it's not really sharp, and then in some cases, like the third one, the paper is still intact. So, if I rip it, it's not going to look pretty, right? So, the reason I got this is so that I could make my own tags, and I, I have a video somewhere on my YouTube channel which you can have a look. Um, basically, I like taking like scrapbooking paper um, and then just create my own tags and make them kind of uh, stick out of certain projects etc etc I think it looks quite neat but um, you know having used it I realized it's not really that great unless if I had some eyelets as well to put over it then in that case it would be I guess okay because it would cover up that sort of dent in the paper but otherwise it's just not great I hope you can see it how it just stands out on the side on one side um, yeah so basically I then had to invest into something quite robust and I went for this one. So this is We Are Memory Keepers and a brilliant American brand that does the most cool looking, you know, craft uh, related uh, gadgets and I love them. But it is quite heavy. I mean, you know, it's very, very heavy and it's very kind of professional um, and in fact, it's a hole punch and eyelet settler in one. So if I'm going to turn it around, um, it basically shows three different sizes of holes, which I assume this is what you can get um, out of this punch. So you can punch through a lot of things like this quite thick cardboard as demonstrated. And then you can, so first of all you punch, then you insert the eyelet and then you set it, you, you use the press to set it in. And I guess you can do that on fabric, you can do it on anything it says here, chipboard, fabric, even thin tin, leather, plastic. So literally, quite literally you can do it on anything. So it's really, really robust um, piece of uh, gadgetry. Yeah. So um, it's quite complicated, all these things, and I won't be able to demonstrate the eyelets because I don't think they're included and it's something I don't really use. So I bought it purely for the bunching. Now, I know you have a cool art supplies and craft supplies um, store in America that does a wide range of really fabulous products and I wish we had that in in UK we don't so I have to buy everything on Amazon basically and sometimes like I said you can get something quite sort of cheap and cheerful um, that doesn't do the job or you can you know go and, and buy American um, products thank goodness but um, I think if you're from America you probably would be able to buy a nice hole punch um, you know without the eyelet settlers and all of that. But if you need something like that, then, then I think you would really uh, enjoy it. Let me just cut it in because it's a very 
unless it can, oh, I can pop it out actually. So here it is, very heavy, very heavy. I have to say, um, I received it in an envelope, one of those, um, you know, bubble um, protected envelopes inside. And I just, I thought, what is that? It, it's a weight of a good sort of heavy book, really hardcover book. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's have a look. So we have these things which turn somehow. So you, you can turn, oh yeah, so you slide it out and you turn it to whatever you need to turn now because I'm new to this I don't know what the difference is so there is this one here I hope you can see this one then we turn it to a gold one so it's a three then it says four and this is a one and this was the two so I'll return it to the gold one and then you push it back in and then you do the same thing here and here you only have the C and the D, I think. No, A. So I wonder if you could see that. So this is this is the C. Not sure why it's not focusing. So this is the C and then this one would be the A. Um, right, then we have something here that we can move up it says inch and then on the other side centimeters same here inch and centimeters uh, ah okay so these are the hole punches so right here if I'm going to squeeze I hope you can see it there we go that's going to punch a hole and from the other side is a smaller hole and what seems to be quite comfortable is that you can adjust these levers at the bottom here and here to settle your paper. So from my understanding, let's try it like that. So you can, oops, you can settle your paper. Let's do it from the bottom. Say, imagine I do it on this side like that. And that's going to, oh, that's a big difference. Look at that. Very smooth, gorgeous looking, sharp hole. And it just cut through like butter. Amazing. And then I could, for example, set it to, say this would be centimeter and a half. And then do the same thing. So then I know, no, sorry, centimeter from, from the punch. So from the bottom, of the paper it would be a centimeter if that makes sense and you can get it exactly the same place so for example this one if we measure it that ends up a little bit higher so that probably would be let's see I need to get used to how to operate this yeah so this looks roughly this size about centimeter and maybe three millimeters yeah so that would be this and let me do it right next to it see if we get the hole in the same place yes so that would be and you could do like tacks with the same um <clears throat> the same holes throughout and same thing on the smaller one let's try the smaller one because i actually wanted the smaller one and I was happy that this one gave me the option of small and big so I'm going to punch out a few and yeah same thing very clean very straight so let's see just the comparison I think the whole size is exactly the same but hopefully yes you can see the paper around it is nice and undented smooth and pretty looking just looks so much more professional and these things are for the eyelets let me just quickly unwrap there is a nice hefty instruction um, leaflet I hate instruction leaflets I just can never ever have the patience to read through them so you have instructions in different languages 
So this is German, not sure what language that would probably Spanish, I'd, I'd guess. This is English and there is a French one, I think. Okay, so I think for those of you that are um, familiar with this, you'll probably make a lot of sense very quickly. But basically to say that it works with 3 slash 16 uh, inch eyelids, with whatever that means. Then there is one slash eight inch, so that's one eighth, three sixteenth, one eighth eyelids, I guess, so the very tiny ones. Then there is the flat embellishments and the three sixteen inches eyelids and washers. So I'm not familiar with any of it, but then it shows you exactly what you need to do. So there is a little, I'll just hold it up to you so you can have a pause and look. Um, all of these different bottom parts and top parts um, you can twist around to to do whatever you need to do so like flat embellishments would be a um, B top and one bottom for example so that's how you work it and then it um, it shows you here in correct correct and correct with washer so it really is quite a hardcore piece of gadgetry I think I said it before but yeah really impressed um, if I need to ever use eyelids I know I can do it now but predominantly I just need it for punching the holes and that's really fun to me so um, I wonder on the picture here why it shows oh no no okay so I thought that's three different sizes it's two different sizes and then it shows you the eyelets so that is it really really fun um, to to have something as professional as this I will leave the links below in case you're interested and thanks for watching see you soon